Hello friends and welcome to another VGC 2020 episode with myself, Lee, also known as Osiris. And in today's episode, we're going to be diving straight into Series 6, which are the new rules update for the online ranked battle ladder. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with these, I did a video covering these new rules that will be taking effect from the 1st of September. I'll, uh, I'll link a little card up the top in the corner here. So if you want to check that out, go across there, then come back to this video because we're diving in, like I say now. Now, the rules haven't officially kicked off, so we can't go on the rank ladder, but I've been working my butt off trying to put teams together to help you guys out going into this new format. Um, so be prepared for teams coming uh, this week and prior to the season starting. So uh, we're going to be playing on casual ladder. Uh, we can't guarantee that we're going to be able to find opponents but uh, as normal in these videos we'll play a couple of games with the team that will be featuring and then I'll do a rental code at the end of the video so at least we've got one team that you guys can jump straight onto the ladder with if you want to start practicing and getting a hang of the new the new format so the first team that i'm going to feature is going to be this one and literally look guys we've got one two three four five six six teams that i've got ready lined up to do episodes with prior to series six starting so you'll have rental teams to go into this series with and then a special episode on monday next week which will be the 31st stay tuned for that one there won't be any battle video in, in that episode but we're going to take a deep look at the series six rule set and i've got about 14 team pastes for you guys to have access to so uh, you're going to have a bunch of stuff to help you all get ready so make sure you do keep an eye out for episodes this week of course if you enjoy this of content please remember to drop a like on the video and if you're new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell as well because uh, you'll get a notification when these episodes specifically with the series 6 teams are coming out and uh, you'll not miss them so you're already going into this new format okay this is a team that we're going to be featuring today it's a pretty fun one it's based around a core i i personally think is going to be very strong going into this format uh, obviously we've lost venusaur rillaboom so gastrodon of course is going to be a very strong pokemon i did talk about how predominant i think these bulky water types are going to be in series six within that kind of overview episode of the new rules and um, so gastrodon makes sense with that storm drain being able to really disrupt those water types and stop them doing what they uh, normally like to do and uh, we've got Covenant as well steel type flying Covenite, obviously another really good pokemon uh rotom heat i feel it gives us a nice option if we see things like sun teams which probably will be quite prevalent amoongus it's going to be probably the premier uh redirector of this format and one of the probably the better grass types that we've got access to so we've got amoongus in the team then the star of the show i hope is going to be hydreigon i think hydreigon's incredibly good it is one speed stat uh, faster than urshifu as well so it does give you a little bit of an advantage there and then sylveon as well running the team off so we've got a nice fantasy call with the sylveon hydreigon and the Corvac knight and then that nice fire water grass call kind of merged in there with the gastrodon rotom heat and the amoongus so without further ado my friends I've never played casual ladder before, so it's going to be interesting. I'm hoping that we, uh, in my mind, I'm thinking we'll probably get opponents that are practicing as well, or at least I'm hoping that we do. Um, and the preparation for all of these episodes is because I'm actually going to be away. Um, I'm not going to be around next week, so I won't be able to do any content, which is a little bit unfortunate, especially with the new season starting. So hence the reason why I wanted to get all this stuff up prior to series six starting it not only helps you guys out but also allows me to have some content on the channel while i'm away for a week so got a first opponent who isn't running a series 16. <laughs> typical but it's not the point um we'll see how the, the team functions we've got uh obviously blastoise incineroar rillaboom uh incineroar and rillaboom both their uh, band as well as the indeedy but i guess the blastoise the uh the Dusclops, and um dragalgy are still accessible can we do some stuff here i feel like you know hydreigon still has a really good matchup against the majority of stuff here um and sylvian's not bad as well I think we need to be careful with the Rillaboom, of course, if we want to bring Gastrodon, because Gastrodon does an incredible job against pretty much everything on my opponent's team. So if we can check the Rillaboom, we're kind of all right, really. I think I'm going to go with Hydreigon and Sylveon. It's kind of the premise, the main lead of this team. So we'll go with that. I will bring Gastrodon, as crazy as it sounds. And um, 
maybe Culvert Knight is the better one to bring as a last one. Uh, I do kind of like Rotom Heat, but at the same time, um, it's probably not super necessary. Okay, I think we have to be careful about not maxing early on with Hydreigon. We've got to be pretty smart with this team because obviously we're facing Pokemon that we wouldn't generally face. Now, I have tested this actual team on the Shodan ladder and it's performed super well in Series 6 environments against Series 6 teams. Um, but I obviously haven't played it against Series 5 teams because it just seems... A little bit crazy, so <laughs> here we go. Anyway, we've got Blastoise and Didi um, coming out for my opponent. We're gonna see the psychic terrain um, get thrown up. Now, one option we do have is we could just get rid of the Indeedy. We're gonna see a, a shell smash from the uh, the Blastoise, uh, which is not gonna be ideal at all. Um, but um, we could max. We could go for Dark Pulse. Um, we could go for the weakness policy. Now, is there any way this is going to not work out? Because I don't feel like my opponent's going to go for their trick room mode. So I think, actually, you know, we're going to be maybe all right. Maybe. Um, I just worry about the Blastoise getting the uh, shell smash and then going for an ice, tack, uh, ice type attack into High Dragon, which wouldn't be great. Um... And it might be worth not maxing here, to be honest. Just going for the Dark Pulse into the Blastoise and then going for a Hyper Voice as well. And then if they do follow me, then we'll be able to get rid of the Indeedee. Um Okay, we're going to see it switch out. So this might work out pretty well for us here uh, because Incineroar are going to come in. And unless my opponent protects the Blastoise here, then uh, we may be able to actually just remove it from the field. So that would be super nice. It'll be very close to going down unless they do that. Um, okay, well, I didn't really expect them to go for the max turn one. <laughs> I kind of thought we'd see at least a shell smash first. Hmm, okay, well, let's hope that we don't lose High Dragon. Because that wouldn't be good. But I mean, if we do, we do. We get, uh, we'll get be able to get Gastrodon in. It would just be a shame because we're not going to, yeah, there we go. We're going to lose it. No! Okay, that's a little bit of a shame. Okay, we're going to have to try... Oh, we survived it, but we're going to go down to the hill. I mean, this Hydreigon is pretty bulky, which is good. Always good. Um, problem is, our weakness policy is procced, which is a little bit of a waste, of course. We are going to see the life orb on this this Blastoise. We do get a hyper voice off, which is always nice. And proc our throat spray on Sylvian. She's good. So, I mean, Sylvian in a decent position here. Um, Hydreigon, like I said, does go down. Now, I don't think we bring out Gastrodon just yet. I think we kind of bait my opponent a little bit um, by thinking they're safe to go for the water type attack this next turn because I think they're going to fake out. Um, they're going to fake out Sylvian for sure, I would imagine. Um, so, what we'll do is we'll. Um, we'll switch Covenite out straight away um, into Gastrodon and uh, I think I mean we could yawn we could hyper voice again but I think they do fake us out actually I I think we just go for the hyper voice because if we get the hyper voice off if we don't see a fake out here we do punish my opponent and fake out damage it's not gonna be something that's gonna lose us the game hopefully so G Max Cannonade. Here we go. There's the Gastrodon coming in doing his thing. So we're not seeing a fake out from the Incineroar. Uh, we are going to be able to uh, get this Hyper Voice off. Plus one. Doing some really nice damage. Probably see a parting shot. And then we're going to. Ooh. Just a Flare Blitz. Crazy, crazy, crazy man. Um, I was expecting a parting shot into the Rillaboom. But that's, that's good for us. Now my opponent only has one turn of their max left so we're not in the worst position here they're not going to go for a water type attack uh, we can just pull a double protect if we want um, because I think the likelihood is they're going to go for um, the, the max hail I would imagine um, and it's whether or not we want to just I think probably recover with Gastrodon um, yeah we'll recover with Gastrodon um, and then we'll just go for a the problem is going for a protect if Rillaboom's in the back and it comes in now then we're in a little bit of an awkward spot where we I think we just hyper voice to be honest 
recover and hyper voice because I don't want the Rillaboom coming in and then us not being able to protect on their fake out the next turn that would put us in a way more awkward spot I feel so um we'll just go for the hyper voice we know we're faster than Incineroar so if the Incineroar sticks around we'll be able to uh to get that attack off I don't think a max hail is going to knock out a Sylveon uh, even though the Blastoise is um life orbed but we'll be able to take down the Blastoise anyway and we'll get some nice damage onto this uh, in DD here. Okay, so we are gonna see the hailstorm. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's like that's like super fine. So we'll get a big chunk of damage onto both Pokemon here. Take the Indeedy down to half health, um, and we're sitting in not a bad position because we've got the recover off with the uh, the Gastrodon now, and it's all about whether or not the um, the Rillaboom can comes in now. Whether they've brought it, um, I don't know. I mean, were they thinking like the threat of having Rillaboom on their team was just enough to um, actually the psychic trains up? So what am I worried about? Fake out for? I'm just realizing that now. This is a thing. Like um, I did see a tweet recently uh, from one of the, the game developers from Game Freak asking about improvements uh, for the game going forward, and I definitely agree with the fact that um, I would personally love to see. Um, some sort of improvements around uh, just the terrains being a bit more uh, visible. Uh, okay, I think we'll go for a Scald into Indeedee and I'm just going to protect because I don't know the speed of this Indeedee. If it's faster than us, I don't really want to take um, a boosted expanding force. Sylveon's quite important to us now. We know we can net the Incineroar if we get into a, a decent position. Um, and then we've got Corviknight in the back. I'm sad that Hydreigon hasn't had any any um, any action this game. But we got one more game to go on this episode anyway, friends. And I guess the, the good thing about this is it's a good example of how the team can kind of function without the High Dragon um, and the other parts of the team can function pretty well. Now, um, obviously, you've got to ignore the fact that my opponent hasn't uh, got Rillaboom if you're going into Series 6. So this is how well a Series 6 team with Gastron can perform in because it's not really got the threats like it, it previously had. Uh, so yeah, there's the Expanding Force and the U-Turn. Okay, so we're going to see if it is uh, the Rillaboom or not as their last Pokemon. And even if it is right now, I don't mind because we've got we've got Corviknight in the back. We don't really care too much about that. Um, yeah, it's the, the Boom. There we go. The Boom Boy. Um, okay. I mean, we're, we're doing all right, aren't we? Um, the Grassy Terrain will be pretty useful for us. And I don't think... Incineral or Rillaboom are going to be able to be Corviknight, to be honest. Um, we've got to be careful, of course, for the um, the Flare Blitz from the Incineral. Uh, it's always going to be a threat, but um, I think if we can deal with the Incineral, then I think the game's kind of locked, isn't it? Now, the next turn, we've got to worry about... Um, fake out for sure uh, that is going to be a problem that is going to be something that my opponent is going to be using uh, because of that psychic terrain now not on the field um, and it's going to be interesting to see how many turns of hail left I think we've only got one because I'm kind of thinking now do we do we um, do we sack Gastrodon and just try and go for a scald into Incineroar um, I just wonder how many yeah one turn of hail left it's just if we can get that Incineroar into quick attack range, which I don't really expect that we're going to be able to. The other option here is we could Dynamax and go into... Yeah, actually we'll do that. We'll do that because I don't think... Hmm, the Rillaboom might be able to actually take us down still, you know, but I think it goes Grassy Glide, if anything. Um, I Scald and I'm going to go... I'm going to go Protect. I'm going to go Protect. Because we can we can max Corviknight at the end of the day. And Corv should outspeed the um, Incineroar. Okay, we uh, we do go for the double Protect there and uh, do get punished. But I think Gastrodon might be able to... Can we take this Flare Blitz? We can. There we go. This is all we needed. This is all we needed. And we got it. Okay, so I should have actually been thinking a little bit more because we double protected with Sylvia and we could have just went quick attack into the um, Incineroar there. Um, even though we wouldn't have been able to get that attack off. So the hill does stop. We still got Gastrodon on the field. 
staring down a Rillaboom. It's like its worst nightmare ever. But we got Corviknight to come in, and because we've saved our max until this very last turn, I think we're going to be fine to uh, to wrap this one up. So that is going to be ideal. Um, like I say, all these Pokemon that I'm featuring now on the team, I personally feel are very good. What are we doing? What are we doing? We're not maxing Gastrodon. We'll try for a sneaky Scald there and try and get um, <coughs> a burn. But I don't think... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, the battle's cancelled, so there we go. My opponent's saving us some time, but a very good game to my opponent. And uh, even though we are going up against a Series 5 team, which I thought we might not, I was kind of hoping we weren't, uh, we do come out with a win, and uh, that is always going to be always going to be something that we can be happy with. So, do we want to continue? We do want to continue. Let's pick some uh, Mustard. Mustard 2. Let's go with that music. I do love the new music that we got on the Isle of Armour. I'm really looking forward to... Um, what we get from um, the Crown Tundra. Right, we've got our next opponent. Renato, uh, obviously in the series. I may as well just jumped on the rank ladder, to be honest, uh, rather than casuals, because I was kind of hoping that we'd run into some other stuff other than Series 5 teams. But people are still playing Series 5, so that's fine. I guess getting the last out of these Pokemon. We got Cinderace, Rillaboom, both going to be banned. We've got, um, uh, what's that one called? It's the, uh, the Pom Pom Puff Grass type Pokemon. Um, I can't remember its name. It, they're completely gone. Colossal, uh, Falapple, and Inteleon. So, um, I mean, is it G-Max Colossal? I don't know if there's really many ways to proc, to self-proc very well. But, um, okay. It's going to be tough. The Cinderace makes this very difficult, for sure. Uh, I don't think um, Gastrodon probably not a great pick here to be honest. They don't have a fairy type So I mean we can go high dragon. We can go Sylveon. We can try and pull this strategy off. We can try um, I think Corviknight again and we'll go Gastrodon actually. Yeah, we'll go Gastrodon uh, just for the Colossal um, Just for the Colossal. They got two grass types so we're bringing Gastrodon. What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? Anyway, anyway, I'm kind of not really counting these matches because we, sh we shouldn't really be playing these Pokemon. Um, it's just, like I say, I'm going away next week, so I'm not going to be able to get the content up that I want to next week on the channel. So it's a nice opportunity for me now to get stuff up, get you guys some teams uh, while I'm away. And then by the time I come back, uh, hopefully... I've been able to, to brew up some more teams and we can get some really cool content going in Series 6. Okay, we got, um, I mean, James Pond. These are great names. The Broly name, I love, I love this guy. Whoever it is, props on the names. Okay, so, um, I think, am I worried about Inteleon? Not massively, because if it maxes, then I'm not super worried about it. We could actually, yeah, this is what we'll do. We'll go Max Flare into Rillaboom, and we're going to Quick Attack our own High Dragon. We're going to Max proc our Weakness Policy, get the Sun up, um, and then go from there. Uh, you've got to worry about Ice Beam, of course, from the Inteleon coming out, um, which is kind of negates the fact that we may not have needed to go a Quick Attack into High Dragon, but we'll go for it anyway just to make sure that we do get it proc I really want to get High Dragon, um, at least getting a few knockouts in this match. Fake out, perfect, perfect, perfect. That's what we like to see. Um, okay, quick attack. Man, it does far too much damage. Far too much damage with that fake out as well. Um, okay. Ice Beam. We do take it, thankfully. Wow, we're going to get at least one knockout. That's going to be uh, that's going to be one knockout we're going to be able to get. And it's going to be the Rillaboom. So it does make things a bit easier for um, <laughs> Gastrodon later on in this match. But it's not going to be like straightforward. You've got to worry about Cinderace coming in now and obviously taking advantage of the sun. Uh, the next Ice Beam, of course, is going to take down uh, High Dragon, which is not going to be great. But... Um, maybe we can utilize Sylvian in a, uh, maybe a little bit of a different way. Okay, okay. Flapple coming in. Um, our two Hyper Voices should get the Flapple. Is it going to set up though? Because I'm kind of tempted we could potentially switch out here into Corviknight of Dra Gastron. Um, Corviknight's probably the better one to switch to. Um, and we could potentially go for a Yawn into... 
Mm. Yeah, let's go Corviknight and let's go Yawn into um, Inteleon, Mr. James Pond over here. I think that'll be the better idea. If we can shut down the Inteleon, I mean, it gives uh, our other Pokemon a little bit more leeway to kind of come in and do some stuff. It's a shame that we're going to be in such a bad position with um, with High Dragon, but um, we are going to see Grassy. Oh my god! No way! Falafel, it's legal in this new format. Damn. Grassy Glide! That's banded, for sure that is banded. Wow. We've got no protect anywhere. I mean, we can't... We, we need to get rid of this thing right now. Like, literally, right now, we need to get rid of it. Um, and I don't know if a... Oh, I think we're just I think we're just gonna flat out lose this because we have to protect Gastrodon here. Um we have to go for a Brave Bird. If they max the Flapple, that makes things a bit more difficult, for sure. Um and uh, two ice beams is definitely gonna pick up the the Corviknight. Wow. We're just being stomped on. Okay, well a lot of these other than Rillaboom, other than Rillaboom, the Falapple. Actually, you know what? You can't really get grassy terrain in Series 6 unless you're setting it yourself. And I can't see many people setting it themselves. So, um, yeah, I just, I think it'll be, I think it'll be fine. Like, Falapple is, that was disgusting. That damage is nasty. That's like hustle boosted as well. And without the life orb recall there, you'd think that is banded. So, yeah, it's going for that. If they go Max Geyser, this opens up. Yeah, okay, that opens up the door for us because they got to go Max Geyser again the next turn. The sun's up, so we will take it with Corviknight. We might have enough room to get rid of this Falapple, which would then open the door for Gastrodon to do all the work. If Once the two grass types are gone. Okay, we're in business, boys. We're in business. Falapple gone. There we go. That's what we like to see. Gastrodon going to be able to... to wall out this now because they can um attack with their ice moves but um ah oh, we love it we love seeing the colossal although <laughs> not so much because it's probably got solar beam but uh it it will be all right i think i think it will be all right so what do we want to keep here do we want to keep high dragon or do we want to keep Corviknight? i think probably if we can get rid of james pond it would be better um, but Corviknight's probably faster. So what I'm going to do is go High Dragon. I'm going to kind of hope. Hmm. What we could do is just go Earth Power into um, Colossal. No, I've got to concentrate down on Pond, haven't I? The Pond Man. He's never going to water type attack though, is he? I've got to go after the Colossal. I think i just got to do the colossal stuff it's just snipe shot will go through our storm drain which is a little bit unfortunate i think we're going to see uh max hail come out here so this probably will remove the weather i oh, was seeing it protect how dare you okay uh, max phantasm huh hmm. okay so that will lower our defense Go for the earth power. Okay. Well, grassy terrain is definitely helping us out here. Is that a physical colossal? It probably is, right? Probably means it hasn't got solar beam as well. So that kind of helps us out a bunch. Um, I think we recover here, to be honest, if we're Gastrodon. It's just the, the problem is we've got the opportunity to probably go after the colossal. Now nah, we'll protect. We'll protect. We'll be a bit cheeky here. We'll try. We'll probably lose High Dragon, I think. Um, Max Hail. Yeah, and that gets rid of the sun. Okay. Which is fine. Now, I think the Inteleon probably... Well, they have a couple of options here. They can go for Gastrodon this next turn. And they do have Rock Slide. Okay. Um, I've got to double into the Inteleon this next turn. I think that's what we're going to do. I think... Well, do I do that, actually? Do I do that? 
or do I recover with Gastrodon and Roost with Call the Night? Or Brave Bird. I think recover with Gastrodon and Brave Bird into the Inteleon. I think. Because like a one-on-one -on -one match with... With the uh, Colossal, I'm not really too concerned about. It's just whether or not they pick up on the snipe shot. Um, no. And I think you probably go for a Flare Blitz. If you're a Colossal. I don't know. Maybe. Um, okay. Well, yeah, we'll go for Brave Bird into pond and we'll go for a recover as well because i suspect they will go ice beam into um gastrodon it's the like the inteleon feels like their only way to beat it like quickly other otherwise the uh the colossal's not really doing too much there we go okay so there's a protect hopefully we see ice beam into gastrodon it would mean that uh we get another turn okay we're not going to see that Covenant actually oh come on no we got the lumberry it's all right it's all right it's all right we got the lumberry i was going to be like damn it <laughs> We've got the Lumberry. It's fine. It's fine. We will lose Corviknight here, but this is all right. We should have really doubled in um, to Pond, but never mind. It's all right. The hail damage is going to do enough. Puts Gastrodon in a nice position now where we can... Because um... I don't think the Colossal is going to have two... Like, if they're going Rock Slide, they're not going to have two ways to get us. How many turns of hail left? Because we could be really cheeky and just go protect here um because it's going to be two turns of heal i think before they go down three turns okay so what we could do is um just protect here and then not worry about attacking into james pond over there uh or the inteleon and just attack into the colossal because the hail will take the uh the inteleon down anyway yeah it's not going for the snipe shot which is kind of interesting whether or not my opponent realizes that's uh something they can do around the uh the storm drain or not maybe not uh, yeah, so it will go down this next turn. We're not going to go down to an Ice Beam. And we're definitely not going to go down to a combination of Ice Beam and um, Rock Slide. So we'll just Earth Power the Colossal. And that should be game. Hopefully. And uh, what was a dire situation looked like it um, it might turn out to be alright. And there's the Earth Power, yeah. So we'll be good to uh, get the Colossal. And then... Gastrodon's done so much work in both these games, and there's been two grass types in this team, and and a really boom in the last one. So, <laughs> if if we can do it here, we can definitely do it in series six. Gastrodon, here we go, good old Gastro. So, friends, time for the team, I guess. So we'll uh, we'll hop over and get the rental team for you guys. And um, you guys, hopefully, will have a lot of fun trying this team out. Remember, the rules don't start until. Um, the 1st of September, so that would be next Tuesday. Uh, so you won't be able to play ranked battle ladder rules with the new Pokemon, with the old ones banned until then. So this team won't... You can play it on the ladder, but you're going to be playing up against um, a lot of teams that are probably not um, as fair. Because they've got all the, the Pokemon that aren't banned in. You know what I mean? Um, okay, so... Uh, yeah, let's just... I mean, just let's get rid of this one, I think. This is... Yeah, we'll just get rid of that one because... I mean, I'm going to be getting rid of all of the Series 5 teams soon, and these will all be Series 6 teams. So, um, I will be, as I said, doing more episodes uh, throughout this week, leading up to Tuesday next week, uh, with the Series 6 teams. So, that's my aim, to try and get you guys in a place ready to just start testing. Um, and that's going to be the, 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 the first thing that you want to do into any new format is just to start playing, learning the format um, and making sure that you are aware uh, of what's being used, what's being played, trying new things out to try and get yourselves into a position where you're having a lot of success in that format. And you do that by practicing, playing, trial and testing and doing all that stuff. So hopefully by me providing these teams for you, this one included, um, it's going to be a, a big, big help. And that's the main thing that I'm hoping for from this little series of videos that we'll be doing. Like I said, there'll be five rental teams and there will be a poker paste uh, compendium 
episode on Monday the 31st with about 14 poker pastes in there for you guys to try out and test out for teams in this format. So hopefully that is enough to help you out. But we're going to end it there, friends. If you've enjoyed today's episode, I thoroughly enjoyed it. So thanks so much for coming out and uh, viewing it with me. Do drop a like, though, if you have enjoyed it. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new. Make sure, like I said earlier, hit that notification bell so you get the notifications when these Series 6 videos go up. And uh, I'll leave it there. So... Take care of yourselves, friends. Be kind to each other as always. And uh, uh, until the next one, I'll see you then. So till then, bye-bye.